One of the things we specialize in at Skarhoy is to create customized control solutions for our customers. And we had a customer approaching us who wanted to control a robotic camera using one of our standard products. And this product was the E21 enclosure you see right here. And usually we use this to control an ATEM switch. And we have brought one here, a television studio. And I'll show you just in a minute how that works. But he wanted also to be able to send preset commands to a robotic camera. If you don't know what a robotic camera is, this is the kind of camera we are talking about. And you can send commands to, to uh, adjust the camera position, pan, tilt, and also the zoom ratio. So um, the specific application was that he, had a, uh, he wanted to cover a football field so that each area of the football field would be uh, programmed with a, a preset. So when he hit a button, the camera would go to uh, the middle of the field or to the corner of the field. And we couldn't do that with the current layout of the E21. But what we can do, because our designs are so flexible, was to simply take an existing design and change the layout of buttons into a new PCB. And the PCB is the short for a printed circuit board. This is what carries the electronics inside our units. So it was very easy for us to reuse the software and reuse the schematics, but simply change position of buttons. And that's the kind of customization jobs that we like to do very much. But not only that, he also wanted to have these two separate units. So we suggested him, why not combine it into a single unit? And that's the kind of thing you see right here. So on this picture, you can see that we actually took the E21 controls and put on the right side of this enclosure. And on the left side, we put the new PCB with the buttons for selecting presets. Okay, so let me show you how this actually works. First of all, to just go through what the right side does, it has a preview select bus, program select, auto and cut buttons. And on the other side of uh, the controller, we had this field. And notice how we actually put in an engraving, which um, um, symbolizes the football field. So you can see if you press button two, the camera would go to the goal in the one end. And if you press eight, you get to the middle of the field, etc. So we were able to even integrate a very nice graphical correspondence between the preset numbers and the location on the field where the camera would go to. Okay, but enough, let's go to the demonstration. And if I switch here to the ATEM software control, I can quickly assure you that when I press buttons on the unit, like one, you can see that we have now camera one on program, and I press three, we have camera three on program, we have camera four on program, and so forth. I can press the cut button, and you can see we have a transition between the two when I press the cut button. All right, so the other side of the box here, that's when I press the robotic camera presets. When I press, and now notice the head, okay? I press one, and then you can see the camera moves to this position. That would be the corner of the football field. And when I press 12, it would go back to this side of the football field. So this is all integrated in this unit, and that's how we really love to work with our customers to create great customized control solutions that fit exactly your application.